Good morning folks, it is me again, Drew. It is now time to start ploughing. Yes. However, there's, I would like to try something this year. Because in the growth of weeds around there, the other side of the silage pits, there is an Opico square plough that we bought about five years ago maybe, something like that. Tried it to plough the moor. Uh, just thought it would be quite good for something like the moor because there's no skimmers on it. Because uh, I were trying to grass seed it. And uh, yeah, it didn't work. And uh, when we looked into it a bit more, it turns out these things require very dry ground to turn the soil over. Um, but learning that fact and seeing recently on TikTok somebody using a 10 for a square plough, it looked like it worked very well. So I am currently getting the pallet forks and I'm going to dig it out. I think there's one that requires a shear bolt. I think there's one that requires a shear bolt uh, on it. And then I'll replace that. And then I quite fancy gain it a shot quickly. Because if it works, it's five furs instead of four. <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't work well, I've wasted a bit of time, but I quite fancy giving it a shot. So, yeah, <laughs> let's, let's give this a bash. Maggie, you're suicidal. Do not stand on the step there. I'm always fear her falling out. I'm always pulling her tail, getting her back in. Here she is, here to dig her out up there, <coughs> she'd fell over on her side. That could either be very good or very useless. Now this second one here is missing the shear bolt. So, aye, I'll hitch it up and see what happens. Give her a wee grease. That one still works anyway. So basically the rams here push it to one side or the other, it swings and then the wee squares go in and turn it over. Very, very simple. But, uh, aye. We'll find out if it's simple but effective. The ground, I think, is dry enough for that. Uh, if I'm wrong, uh, I'll be rather annoyed. <laughs> That's her pretty much ready to go. All greased up now. Doug's board already. Uh, just need to check the tyre pressure in the back. And uh, actually, I need to loosen this off. Seized. Uh, that controls the depth. And then the other things adjust at the front. Uh, my only concern is that it is a shear bolt plough um, and we have stones uh, but with it being that way it might not hit them as bad as the other plough guess we'll soon find out <laughs> let's get going with this so basically this is a swing path so it swings it round out the road and then each ram on each side will tilt it, so it'll tilt that way or tilt that way and that's how this thing works Here we go <laughs> Oh no <laughs> I hope this goes well I would quite like it to go well There's a fair length of thing right enough <laughs> Why did I do this? Well if it works it'll be great <laughs> And then I'll get shouted at by Dad. I might not get shouted at if it goes well. The only reason he's not noticed me doing all this is because he's mucking out up the road. 
Oh dear, oh dear. Let's get, let's get going. <laughs> All right, we're at the top of the field here. Uh, wrong way. Right, swings round. And then tilts just like that. Well, I guess there's nothing else to do but see what happens, eh? Right, Doug, get back in. Doug's trying to climb out the back window here. need to do some adjustments right enough but uh, we'll cross that bridge when it comes five fours No idea what I'm doing right now. <laughs> yeah, in the cab, dog. First run, that went pretty well actually. It looks like it buries the trash pretty good too. seems to work very well going downhill so I am just making this my last run and I am going to put my good boy on because I can't I cannot deal with this <laughs> it's not good enough unfortunately maybe somebody that knows what they're doing with it will be able to do something with it but I can't eh? Probably would be better on flat ground. Worth a try. And at least I can say I've tried it. But that's all. I will never be doing this again. <laughs> I dare say it's for ground that's like just kind of stubble only. Nay dung uh, or dead bits and then maybe better sandier soil like it would be better than that but there's changing soil and it keeps biting in more and shifting like that so it's no use it's no use so I'll go put my plow on before dad notices 
<laughs> right, so I've now got the plough on the back. Um, aye, I'll take a wee minute to look it over and then I'll get going properly. Got the... Well, I did have the... I have lost the hydraulic ram for very width that I had on. Must have bounced off. Bounced off on the road down from the shed. It's not on the main road. Christ. <coughs> anyway, I've got that ram to put on when I get to the farm. I don't know how it's fell off. I had it wrapped up. Rough, bouncy road fell off. My good ram. Right, get it on again. Right, that's me. Finally got the plow all ready to go, and I've got the very wood ram on it now. Uh, I took it off and I put the manual, uh, the manual t turner thing, oh, link. Remember the words. Uh, I put it on for the plow match that I didn't do very well at. But now I've got that back on for working. Ideal. I still want my shot of a five for a plow, whoever has one. Because I fair enjoyed having a go of a five for a square plow that didn't work very well. But I want a five for a normal plow because I dare say that'll go far better. <laughs> Aye. So. I'll fill her up with diesel, get my big mashing hammer for the weight block for any stones that'll get caught and I'll get started after my dinner. Late night ahead. <laughs> Beautiful. Is that kind of annoying where it's not dark enough to put the lights on and yet it's it needs a light so I can really see what's going on. So, like that doesn't make much of a difference for me. Well, I suppose it kind of does, maybe it's just... It gets really dark quick here. Right. Since it's Friday, for me anyway, I'm not sure when I'll be able to edit the video. This might be up on Tuesday. But slurry video. Slurry video. Let's go up this weekend. And then won't fly. Starting next week the plowing will be up. <sighs> Happy Friday guys. Tenants at the plowing, can he beat it? Woo! It's currently pitch black outside and I've got a stone stuck in my blow. And I never put the hammer in. Idiot! This wee chodia hammer will have today. It's amazing the damage that can be caused by a stone. <sighs> I think the plowing's looking all right, despite doing it in the dark. You can kind of see, but not that well. I thought that the big light bar up the top would have been really good for this but it shines over the top and up the back rather than down at the plough so I might change these two bottom lights to something else because they aim down here and that's really where I'd, I'd really like to see is the front fur, it looks good here 
and then by the time you look back with a big light it's not good and that by that point it's too late so you might look into trying to get a couple of LEDs either replace them or get bulbs for them I don't know alrighty folks I am about to start ploughing again today um, got a wee bit done last night but uh, considering I've not really set the plough up I wasn't really wanting to do too much more because I'm not just quite sure what it's going to be looking like today hopefully not too bad let's have a wee swatch of course it's always the roadside eh? Actually, it looks not bad. We dogs going nuts running around the cab here looking for the seagulls. <laughs> is looking pretty good I would say. Do you know what the ideal though? Five for a plow. The only reason I narrow the plow is because it is as wide. I don't want to hit the deck do I? Plowing quite wide but it's I think it's about it points wide that is turning it over beautifully so I don't see why not. Oh, here now, Lord. Oh, here he is. Oh, here now, Lord. Oh, here he is. I'm having a sack on the back of the bus, and I'm home with Pedro Macaro. He says there's buttocks and chaos all over the place, and they're looking at me like I'm a disgrace. Oh, here now, Lord. Oh, here he is. Oh, here, Nivor. Oh, here, Nivor. 